This is Petrix, represent IF2 Immortal Fader Fighters, the 1999 DMC USA champion. And we're just gonna do little like basic scratches to complex scratches that's going on today. Just gonna show you how to do it. Okay, like the first scratch pretty much that was pretty much invented was just pretty much moving the record back and forth with which we call the baby scratch, which is just <laughs> step was a military scratch where you cut out the sound to make a rhythm. Like the next scratch pretty much is like um, the jab scratch. Okay, the jab scratch is just the forward motion of the record. So you just take the sample and cu and no, you don't you cut off the reverse sound. So it's just the forward motion of the sound that you have. So you cut out no reverse sounds. Once again, I'll show it again. And everything I'm doing is reverse. So if you're gonna do it the normal, this is what you call hamster. If you wanna do it the, the regular way, would be. <laughs> this next scratch pretty much was like originated from everyone says like in Philadelphia, they're popular for doing this is the um, transform scratch, which is pretty much where you just cut off the sound um, let's just, you just keep cutting out the sound while you move the record back and forth, so it's like a... Um, a scratch that was really popular back then was a chirp scratch, was I guess they named it like, because it sounds like a, the sound of a bird chirping. You get the very beginning of the forward motion and you cut out the middle and you get the very end of the reverse motion it's kind of it's hard to get at first but then this is what it sounds like once you got it Okay, this next scratch I'm gonna do is pretty much, you don't need to really um, use the faders to um, cut out the sound. It's pretty much a record movement scratch. It's called the tear scratch, where you just pause in between. So you, you kind of stutter when you move, it's like. Okay, this next scratch is pretty much more like an effect scratch. It's called the fade. You're just using like the volume. Pretty much you're just like, um, pretty like doing fades. Like bringing the volume up and down. This can be used with a bunch of different scratches. That's just like I could do um, fade, fade jabs. Fade transform. Um, fade tears. The real popular scratch now is called the Flare Scratch, invented by DJ Flare from the Scratch Pickles. And it's pretty much, it's like a transform, but exactly opposite. Like, for transform, you start with the fader close, and you cut off the sound. But a Flare Scratch is, you start with the fader open, and like, the exact opposite movement of a transform. So it's, it's hard to explain, but it's weird. Here's how it sounds, like, real slow. It's like a one click forward and one click back. Like with the face. And then once you get it real fast, it sounds. This next scratch is like a variation of the flare. 
It's called the Orbit. It's pretty much a two-click flare, which is like exactly the same thing as a flare, except two clicks forward and two back. So, be... so it'll sound like this. And the Orbit is like the two-click flare, like as tw at twice the speed. This next scratch is called the Crab. It was invented by, I believe, Cubert and DJ Disc from the Scratch Pickles. It's pretty much like an illusion scratch where you just cut off all the sound using all your fingers on your hand. Um, what you'd want to do is put pressure with your thumb, like towards sound where sound would come in, and you want your hands, your fingers, just to come and like hit the fader. So it like it's like actually transforming really fast, like four in one. Petrix is a good example of how far you can get with some hardcore practice and determination. Here's Petrix rocking the showcase with tons of scratch licks and beat juggling. I'm just plain terror. I'm just plain terror. Bossy. 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 Bossy.